Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the devastating aftermath of the Israel-Hamas war, that killed more than 250 people and destroyed thousands of homes and buildings in Gaza. You will see the shocking images and stories of the people who survived the bombs, and the challenges they face to rebuild their lives and their land. You will also learn about the environmental impact of the war, and how it affects the health and the future of the people in Gaza. But before we get into that, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you find this video informative and helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Now, let's get started. The destruction the Israel-Hamas war lasted for 11 days, from May 10 to May 21, 2023. During that time, Israel launched more than 1,500 airstrikes and artillery shells on Gaza, targeting Hamas's military sites, but also hitting residential areas, schools, hospitals, mosques, and media offices. Hamas and other militant groups in Gaza fired more than 4,000 rockets and mortars at Israel, mostly intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome system, but some landing in Israeli cities and towns, causing damage and casualties. The war left behind a trail of destruction and death, especially in Gaza, where more than 230 people were killed, including 65 children, and more than 1,900 were injured. According to the UN, more than 16,000 homes and 58 schools were damaged or destroyed, and more than 100,000 people were displaced. The survivors among the survivors of the war, there are many stories of trauma, loss, and resilience. One of them is Fatima, a 35-year-old mother of four, who lost her husband and her home in an Israeli airstrike. She now lives in a tent with her children, in a schoolyard that serves as a shelter for the displaced. She says she has no idea how to start over, and she worries about her children's safety and education. Another survivor is Ahmed, a 17-year-old student, who was injured by shrapnel in his leg, while he was playing soccer with his friends. He says he wants to become a doctor, to help his people, but he doesn't know if he will be able to go back to school, or if there will be another war. A third survivor is Rania, a 25-year-old journalist, who worked for a local media outlet that was bombed by Israel. She says she was lucky to escape alive, but she lost her colleagues and her equipment. She says she will continue to report the truth, despite the risks and the censorship. The reconstruction of Gaza is a daunting task, that requires a lot of resources, coordination, and cooperation. The UN estimates that the cost of the damage is around $380 million, and that it will take years to rebuild the infrastructure and the economy of Gaza. The reconstruction also depends on the political situation, and the willingness of Israel and Egypt to ease the blockade on Gaza, that has been in place since 2007, and that restricts the movement of people and goods in and out of the enclave. The reconstruction also relies on the international community, and the pledges of humanitarian and development aid, that have been made by several countries and organizations. However, the delivery and distribution of the aid is often delayed or obstructed, by bureaucratic hurdles, security issues, or corruption. The environment the war also had a severe impact on the environment of Gaza, and the health and the livelihood of the people who depend on it. The war caused air pollution, water contamination, soil erosion, and waste accumulation, that pose serious risks for the ecosystem and the public health. The war also damaged or destroyed the already scarce and fragile natural resources of Gaza, such as the aquifer, the farmland, and the fishing zone. The war also exacerbated the existing environmental problems of Gaza, such as the power shortage, the water crisis, and the sewage overflow, that result from the blockade, the population growth, and the lack of infrastructure and management. The future The future of Gaza is uncertain and bleak, as the people face many challenges and threats, that could spark another round of violence and suffering. The main challenge is the political deadlock, and the absence of a viable peace process, that could address the root causes of the conflict, and the legitimate rights and aspirations of the Palestinians and the Israelis. The other challenges are the social and economic hardships, that affect the daily lives and the well-being of the people, especially the youth, who make up more than half of the population of Gaza. The other threats are the regional and global dynamics, that influence the balance of power and the interests of the actors involved in the conflict, such as Iran, Turkey, Qatar, Egypt, the US, and the EU. So, that was Gaza after the bombs, and the human and environmental cost of the Israel-Hamas conflict. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of the situation and the challenges in Gaza, and the need for a lasting and just solution for the conflict. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.